Hey, what is going on guys? Edward here back with another video. Thank you so much for being here again. Uh, today I will show you pretty much the setups that was spotted this morning. Um, some of them are still actually running. And let me show you here, starting with the first entry on US 30 on a five minute time frame. I had a, this 45 minute order block from yesterday. Um, I was seeing that the market was kind of like struggling a lot in this area, showing one, two, three times touching this uh, this order block right there. I was thinking that maybe the price could actually go up or maybe continue pushing up. But then this happened. I, on a five minute, spotted a small, this morning, small order block. Uh, by the time I was waking up, I was uh, making the entry on the five minute time frame pretty much uh, just right there this was the previous candle before the big move to the downside so entry right there stop loss quite above a fee just a few pips um, above and I was mainly targeting even lower I wanted to go lower than that I was actually wanted to go to the 31,000 psychological level but <clears throat> uh, of course we have different areas of take profit and uh, I was saying to my students that hey every time you get in an entry like this, like this, it's always good to be taking partial profits all the way down because you don't know, and like you could have, you could have spotted the the best order block or the what at, at least something that you that you think right. You you could think that that's the best order block ever, and not just because of that, it means the market will go immediately to you know the direction you want. So hey why not be securing profits all the time once the market is going down you know be securing profits partial profits you know in important key levels areas or previous lows right so profit pro, uh, the market did reach this area and around this area right here i told my students that i was going on break even and the market just came back on top stopping me out now why why did the market with the new york stock has changed you see this skyrocket right here this one five minute candle just skyrocketing at the New York Stock Exchange opening. Why was that? It's a wipeout, guys. US 30 did today a wipeout, right? This is a right here. You can see the actual direction. Like if you remember, you know, the markets um, are still doing bad, right? Inflation is still there. High interest rates are getting worse, right? Uh, the war in Ukraine is not painting like it, it's one that it, it wants to go over, right? No, it's not going to be over anytime soon. So things are still bad. What we're seeing right here on a four hour time frame, this huge push. Don't be too excited. Don't be thinking that, hey, this is actually now the beginning of the uptrend, of the uptrend you know? So uh, it's about time. It's a matter of time for the market to again correct maybe drop again have another type of crash or maybe consolidate like it did here before the actual big crash right so what i'm thinking is that the market maybe will be ranging for a little while maybe for a month or two let's see for how long was this consolidation here for about 12 days consolidating like that before actually the market crashed again so yes we could get into somewhere something like this right the price was pushing up very strong right here then it started consolidating going up and down and go up and down and all of a sudden fails again and comes crashing down so again don't get too excited thinking that this thing will uh, or the the end of the downtrend is over no right it is just a simple pullback right now so starting to show signs that the market look at this that's that's what i'm saying this is a liquidity graph right here for people who are looking for sales, most likely retail traders, they had their sell stops and their stop losses somewhere in there and they're aiming to maybe to be selling to this previous low, right? But they are holding it, their, their stop losses all the way up here. Even here thinking, maybe you were thinking like, a, like an institutional trader, right? And, and like institutions, right? Here there was a big, this 45 order block, 45 minute order block and you enter right there. Most likely you got stopped out, right? It also stopped you out of a bunch of people stopping out. And now it's actually going the direction we wanted, to the downside, okay? 
So it's a big, it was a big wipeout it did today. So at least as I mentioned on US 30 did not have a, a loss on this one, taking profits all the way down here. And then of course getting stopped out on break even. So that's pretty much it. Let me show you now what we have on NASDAQ. On NASDAQ, I actually did send this setup uh, to even to the free group. However, I send it this way. I was saying that, hold on. Hold on, my computer is a little slow acting right now. So this is the, this is the group. Um, I was sending something like this, right? There's a potential order block at the top. Um, the, if the market reaches, you see it was consolidating. If the market goes above this area, it could come crashing down or even to the origin of this drop right here at the beginning. So on this order block, if it doesn't reach this one, maybe it breaks through, maybe we'll get back to this area. And But the actual direction is to the downside. But most likely I was predicting, that I was actually predicting the, the fake out to the upside before it crashed. Now look at what happened. Here we have the fake out he will have the the huge fake out look at the activation on that 30 minute order block the market came back up wiping out here grabbing liquidity right huge rejection you see immediately re re reacting to the downside right there huge huge drop at this point and this is uh, well i'm 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 uh, at least i'm thinking about holding it all the way down here to the um, 11000 oh no i'm sorry to the previous area on a four hour this is a four hour support right there so let's see if it's going to be reaching that of course uh this is already on break even i did take partial profits already and holding this baby to the downside it's been already a one to six one to seven risk to reward already it's beautiful trade running and holding this baby all the way to the downside let's see if we can catch that one to 15 risk to reward in this order block sale we had on nasdaq on SMP, it did a little trap again, like similar to to US 30, but not that like not that hard to the to the upside right here. It did clean up, uh, wiped out uh, you know a few traders right there before actually come crashing down, right? So it was a similar setup. I just I didn't get into this one. I did send pretty much all of this to the to the VIP, saying the potentials that this had. I uh, wanted to wait for the market to see what it was going to show, but I was thinking that yes, it might sh be showing rejection, uh, but maybe that was a little trap right there to stop people out. So, you know, you can even still continue, like if you got stopped out on this one, you can re-enter. Why not? Right? If you understand the structure, what, what is actually happening, even from the beginning right here, you have the break of a structure right to the upside. It fails to continue pushing up. It goes down and it breaks the previous low and creating the change of character right there then all we have to do is wait for the price to come back to an auto block the auto block was on a 15 minute right there and uh you see it, the market did end up actually reaching the order block on a 15 minute and then drop it but it did a little spike up but if you were able to determine that, oh, yes, okay, this is just a little trap. I'm going to re-enter again. You could have re-entered. It doesn't matter if it's a little late. Like if you would have entered maybe here, you know, and the stop loss there, still, you would still have a nice, nice TP right there. It's a one to four risk to reward right there. If you would have entered a little late, you know, you realize what's happening. Oh, okay, yeah, I got stopped out. But you know what? I will be getting in again. So that's something that you guys should consider as well if you're interested on in what i'm teaching right now and um, which is also order blocks at this point you know i invite you to go ahead and check out some of my previous videos i have been posting here on my youtube channel uh based on order blocks and um, if you also want to see maybe a little bit more i recommend you going on my website teamprofitseffects.com you will see that i'm offering a bundle which comes with my course a mentorship and a vip signal group for life it's all in together one-time payment you don't need to be paying any time anything monthly right there so uh, you know if you're thinking on, on learning this type of thing just hit me up leave your comments below if you're new on the channel please subscribe give it a big thumbs up it motivates me to keep posting content every single day on this channel I know you guys like this type of content so give it a big thumbs up you know give, show some love I'll see you guys in the next one take it easy guys